Why does the EU anger so many British people? Is it something in our blood? Is it something in the water, in the air we breathe? What makes us so fiercely, fiercely independent? Honestly, I can't tell you. But I do know history can teach us about ourselves. England in 1214 was a very nasty place. Government officials were totally corrupt or largely incompetent. People were taxed to the point of starvation. People were punished for doing or saying the wrong thing. And our foreign leader in King Jong ignored the law and the people that objected to it. He would kidnap children of parents who couldn't or wouldn't pay taxes. He truly was a Norman tyrant of the highest order. In the summer of 1214, King John did something that still lives on in our popular culture today. He kidnapped a pretty young teenager called Marion Fitzwalter, who was the daughter of a baron called Robert Fitzwalter of Essex. After a time, the young girl escaped and hid in Epping Forest. The story of her has changed a lot over the years, but her name, Maid Marion, still lives on. But that's a different story for a different time. Meanwhile, the Baron Fitzwater of Essex had had enough of King John's corruption. He travelled around England talking to knights, barons, lords and abbots to rally an army to hold this unregulated power to account. On the 4th of November, Baron Fitzwater the Archbishop of Canterbury and many other barons wrote out a great charter, or Magna Carta as it's known in Latin. They sent it to King John who promptly threw it in the bin. Both sides began to prepare for war. By the spring, the Norman French King John found out there was no Englishman willing to join his army and he did not have the funds to pay for any more French soldiers to fight. On the other hand, Fitzwalter had amassed a huge army of yeomen, knights and freemen, funded by English merchants from all over the country. The English by their very nature are wary of foreign people telling them what to do, and the Englishman's values are based on equality and fairness. The huge army was stationed in London, King John was to be held accountable to the people or he would be swiftly dispatched. For the first time ever in the world, the executive was held accountable to the same laws and restrictions as everybody else. On the 15th of June 1215, King John signed the Great Charter. The common law was reinstated and the law of Malioventia the law of tax whoever you like, whatever the hell you like, was scrapped. What Magna Carta did was write down in one beautiful document the freedoms that every man should have, the freedom from the state, not compulsion to the state, the rules to protect the freedoms of the individual above the freedoms of the state. So when the EU drafts yet another raft of rules and regulations and you feel angry it's an emotion born in blood born from history history giving you a tap on the shoulder and whispering to you in your ear showing you the past and how to deal with the future eyes open no fear it's the 18th of november 2014 and we are still stuck inside the european union